Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a photo stencil effect in Adobe Photoshop. So I've opened my image in Photoshop and depending on the image that you're using for this effect, your settings may need to be adjusted accordingly. However, what we're going to do to start with is go to the layers panel and just press command or control J just to duplicate that layer and we'll hide the background just so we've got a backup copy in case anything goes wrong. So we have our layer one. Let's double click on that and call this stencil effect. Now with this layer selected, we're going to go to image, down to adjustments, and we're going to select posterize. Now, depending on your image, you may want to adjust this to get the desired effect. You don't want to bring this up too much because it will look very much like the original image. However, if you bring the levels all the way down to the lowest, which is two, and you can slowly bring this up a bit, depending on the kind of detail that you want to keep. So I think we'll go between two and three. Let's go for two and we can click OK and then go to image again adjustments and this time we're going to select threshold and again you'll get another dialog box with a slider make sure the preview box is checked and again depending on your image you can adjust this slider to get the desired effect so if we move this to the left we get a lot more detail on the tiger here and if I bring this all the way to the right you'll see that some of that detail is removed and this almost creates a silhouette effect here, so it depends what you're going for. So I think for this tutorial, let's go for something like this. So we still get that detail around the face and we get the stripes in there as well. So when you're happy, click OK. So once you've applied the posterize and threshold effects to your image, you should have something similar to this. And one last thing we're going to do is just tidy up all this noise around the edge of our image. So we're just going to select the new layer icon, make sure that this is above the stencil effect layer and using the color picker, just sample the background, which is yes, that is black. So that's all good. Select the brush tool and select one of Photoshop's default brushes with a hard edge. So we don't want a soft edge for this one. So make sure that the hardness is set to 100%. Select your size. Remember you can adjust the size of the brush quickly by pressing the left and right square brackets on your keyboard. And we're just going to start to paint in over these white bits all around the edge. So it's fine if you want to keep these. However, if I'm using this as part of a design, I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit just so that I'm totally happy with the image. Now we didn't use that feathered brush before because otherwise that may run into our main image of our tiger. So we're making sure that the brush we're using has a hard edge exactly like that of the tiger. Okay, so we're just going through left clicking and just brushing away all these details of the trees in the background. You can zoom in as you need to, just to make sure we don't remove anything by mistake. And if you do accidentally go into the image like this, simply select the eraser tool and we can just remove that. After all, this is just a black layer that we're laying over the top. So let's just finish up these last few bits here make sure that we get absolutely everything and then where the white of the background we want to remove joins our image you can just go around and just cut this out like so so that's why we have that hard edge to the brush as well just so any kind of cuts that we make where the background touches the image or the part that we want to keep is nice and straight with that hard edge so as we zoom out it blends in seamlessly and 
one last bit down here on the bottom left and what you can do is you can keep these as two separate layers or you can hold the command or control key to select both layers and then go up to layer and down to merge layers and it will merge these together and you may need to just give this layer a name again and there we go that's how to create a photo stencil effect in Adobe Photoshop as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.